Hello, everyone. Good evening. My name is Susan Campfield. Welcome to my stamp room. Come in, relax. We're going to do a little paper crafting tonight and kind of work some stress out while we uh, create a beautiful card to send to somebody and brighten their day because that's what it's all about, right? Uh, thanks for hanging out with me here tonight. Um, as I said, my name is Susan Susan Campfield. It's been a long day. It was crafter noon day. So this afternoon I went live and uh, showed you how to make the newest fun fold card that I dreamed up for my monthly crafter noon class. Uh, this month's fold is the double decker pop out and I'll show you some of those here tonight. But tonight we're going to make a three panel scenery card. So looking forward to doing that with you. Um, shout out to my moderator Jennifer Walsh hanging out in the comments. Hey Jennifer. She's here to help answer any questions you have. Um, now, the card we're doing tonight is going to be a project sheet that will be going out in the next project sheet email. And so you can subscribe to those by going to suestampfield.com, clicking on subscribe, and then you'll get those uh, little creative inspiration in your inbox. Uh, you are all amazing because you make and send cards all the time. And I hope that... Um, by being here with me, that we inspire a little creativity in one another so that uh, you're inspired to make and share even more cards. I do believe we're making the world a gentler and kinder place by sending those cards in the mail. So thank you for all that you do. Um, let's go ahead and get started in making this adorable card. Well, I think it'll be adorable. I haven't made this one exactly, so we're gonna we're gonna make it together. But I don't think it could not be adorable with this cute paper. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna flip to my desktop camera. That's the wrong camera, Susan. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, it's been a wild day, hasn't it? So we're gonna work with the Zany Zoo stamp set. And well, it's, I should say the Zany Zoo bundle because we're going to be using just one of the dies actually today and a couple of the stamps. Now the Zany Zoo is available actually as a suite where you can get the, um, the, the bundle and then the ribbon two pack, um, which is the lemon lime twist ribbon and the petal pink ribbon and which we'll be using I think tonight. And then the adorable paper is also part of the suite. Let's just grab a couple of them here. Oh my gosh, so cute, you guys. <gasps> it's so stinking cute. Now the dies, some of the dies cut out some of the images in the paper. In fact, uh, there is a die to cut out an image from each of the patterns. So on this one, it's the crocodile, crocodile, alligator, one or the other, riding the bike. <laughs> And I can't tell them apart. I don't know. Um, on this one, it's the adorable raccoon holding the balloons. And on this one, it is the singing turtle. And then there's a few other patterns as well. Um, today for our fun fold uh, that we did in Crafter Noon, we uh, did do a couple cards with that. So these are the alternate cards um, that uh, I always do for Crafter Noon. Let me grab where's the other one. It's hiding. Oh, this one I sat on. <laughs> oh my goodness, Susan. Seriously. Okay, here's our adorable uh, turtley standing on a little uh, stool singing happy birthday. How cute is that? Now this one is die cut right out of the paper, but you can also just stamp it and it's very easy coloring. So if you run out of paper, you've got an easy source to um, do more turtle making. Um, so this is the double decker pop out. So that inside piece is on a little um, square that pops up and pops out and then it does stand for display. So you can the recipient can show off your artwork. And then I also made this one with the adorable raccoon also die cut from the paper. It's the one I sat on. <laughs> oh, oh, what a day. What a day. And there we go. So we're going to make a zany zoo card tonight. Now I should tell you, I am actually pre-recording this. So Crafternoon has ended and I'm jumping right into this video um, because I have family up this weekend and we're going out to dinner tonight. So um, I am not able to respond to your live comments, but Jennifer is in the comments uh, and can answer any questions you have. And I will, of course, as always, be looking at your comments afterwards. So don't hesitate to leave me comments. In fact, I'm going to ask your advice on a couple things. Um, usually, I like to get your feedback um, when we're creating. And one of the things I normally would ask you 
is which of these papers we should use for our card tonight. So our card tonight, I did this same fold earlier this week <laughs> and I'm laughing because, oh my gosh, it was a little bit. Yeah. Um, I had some, I was tired that day too. And I had some issues with the fold. So um, we're going to do it. I give it a better run tonight, but we made this one with the beautiful timeless arrangements uh, bundle. Actually, I think on the video, we made this one because you guys voted for the fox paper, it has the little fox in it. So this is a three panel scenery card. So you take paper that has a scene and then you uh, cut it apart and match it up so that it um, kind of flows together. And then after the video, uh, I made this one, uh, which, which is one of the other choices. Um, speaking of timeless arrangements, that was our make and take um, for this month's crafter noon. So people that placed a qualifying order in my online store of uh, $50 US before tax and shipping um, automatically qualified to get this packet to make the card along with me today. If you would like to participate in the next crafter noon, all you need to do is go to my online store, suestampfield.com, click on shop. And then uh, when you place an order that's at least $50 before tax and shipping, you're going to get a packet for next month's fun fold card, which will be a different fold and it will just be just as awesome. So we'd love to have you participate next time. And uh, this is that timeless arrangements again, and it's so fun. It, this one, we made a window box with it. It's just absolutely a, such a versatile bundle. We'll be doing more in the coming weeks with that one. All right, let's get to our card tonight. So I have a piece of basic black cardstock that is five and a half inches by 11 inches. And I'm going to bring in my simply scoring tool. Probably should have just done the trimmer because I'm going to need the trimmer in a minute. Um, and we're going to score this at four and a quarter. Make sure I'm in the track there and eight inches. Okay, so five and a half by 11, I scored at four and a quarter and eight inches. And we can take this away now. And we're going to just fold our card. So I'm actually going to rotate it because it actually goes this direction. So we're going to do this fold to the right and we're going to make that a valley fold. Okay. Get my bone folder in here and give it a good sharp crease. Okay, and now the next score line I'm going to fold backwards so it'll be a mountain fold. So we had the valley fold and now the mountain fold. And I'm just going to flip it over here, give it a good crease. All right, so there we have our card base all ready to go. So we're going to bring in our designer paper and we're going to cut that. Now, if I was able to do this video live, I would be asking your advice on whether we're doing the singing turtle, the uh, raccoon with the balloons, and we're going to do all the whole paper, but I'm just picking out the animal that <laughs> can be die cut, or the crocodile on the bike. So uh, I have to make an executive decision. So I'm going to go with the singing turtle. If you would like me to make one of the other patterns, let me know in the comments which one you prefer the raccoon or the crocodile, alligator, whatever it is. We'll call it a crocodile just to be, you know, have a decision. So raccoon, crocodile, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see either of those done with this card. And we're going to go ahead and cut this. So this is a scenery card. So I want to make sure that I cut the paper so that the scene still flows, if that makes sense. So I'm going to slide it in here. I'm going to cut my paper at five and a quarter. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it at so that it is eight and a half inches long. So I'm pulling out the side on my trimmer. If you don't have a good trimmer, this is an excellent one. It is hard to make cards without a decent trimmer. Um, all right, so I'm going to put that down. I've got my scene here. This is a good time to kind of stop and see if the panels are going to be kind of uh, attractive to you. I like this. I want this little turtle on the front and I'm going to be cutting from left to right. So this looks good to me. Um, we're at eight and a half and we're going to go ahead and cut off that excess. We'll save that for another project. And now we're going to cut this into our sections. So our first section is, oh, this is going to make me nervous. Oh my goodness. 
our first section is three and a quarter. No, is that right? Yes, three and a quarter inches. Phew. All right, good thing I have my cheat sheet here to look at. <laughs> I'm nervous because last time I totally messed it up, you guys. Okay, three and a quarter inches. And remember, it's five and a quarter tall. So, all right, so there we have our little turtle. And oh my gosh, that frog playing the piccolo or whatever is too cute. Flute, whatever he's playing. So three and a quarter. This next one is going to be three and an eighth. It's different, a little bit different than the last one I did. Um, all right, three and an eighth. Oh, good. We got most of that bear playing the um, concertina or accordion or whatever that is. And then the last piece is going to be whatever's left over, and it should be two and an eighth. And it is. Hurrah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to put our trimmer aside. And we're going to start sticking our paper on. Now, one of the other mistakes I made in the last video was I put adhesive. I flipped it over and put adhesive all over like we do. Oh, I got a little, little paper shard here. I'm just going to trail. Oh, oh, found them. <laughs> they were kind of under a card, but they were here. Found my scissors. Take a sip, everyone. Let me know what is in your cup tonight. I have some delicious ice water in my mug here. Oh, so good. And I have to close the cap or, you know, what's going to happen? We don't want water all over our stamp desk. So what I did last time is I went in and I put, I need a new trimmer blade. You see how it's fuzzing the paper? Mm. All right. Um, I put adhesive everywhere on the back. I do not want adhesive on this side. I want it everywhere else, but not in this half inch section that's going to kind of hang over. So I'm going to Double check it. <laughs> uh, I got a few more little paper fuzzies here. Let's just trim those off. All right. So, Susan, do not want adhesive there. Okay, I just have to talk to myself sometimes. I just have to do it. All right, so we'll put some here, some across the top, some across the bottom, but we're not putting any over here. So now I'm going to go in. And layer this on my card. And I'm just looking for about the same border around the top and sides and bottom. So we have our first scene. Now we're ready for our next panel, which is this one right here. And you can see where they sort of match up. Again, I got the little fuzzies. Oh, it is time for a new blade. I had my team over. Um, my silvers and above over for an event. And uh, um, I needed to change out that blade after we were done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that one down. This one I can put adhesive all the way around because there's no, uh, no hangy flaps like this one. This one hangs over like it's supposed to. And I am not paying a whole lot of attention to this border. I'm paying more attention to the top, bottom, and th this one. Okay. And then our last piece of paper, again, matching that scene, goes right here. So I can see the edge of the bear's hand and the snout on the um, warthog, uh, whatever that thing is. <laughs> warthog, I guess. Not often that I run into that word on my day. <laughs> day-to-day -day basis. All right, and that is going to go right in here. And again, I'm, I'm not really paying attention to where the score line is other than I don't want to go over it. I'm actually kind of butting up to the score line because I want them there to be an even border. So um, it's a little different than a normal card in that you're not bordering it on this piece. You're looking at the whole scene. Hope that makes sense. And then the last piece is this one, which is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And that's our basic white. But I am going to stamp on this before I put it in there because, um, yeah, sometimes I mess up when I stamp. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. All right, what am I going to do on this? Um, this I don't think is going to fit because this is one and three quarters. And that's a little squinny. So we're going to do this one also from the same set, which is You're Too Wonderful. 
I think everybody would like to be told that they're wonderful, right? All right. Whoa, that's crooked. All right, let's let's flip over and just try again. Oh goodness. It's that kind of day. All right. Oh, now I'm nervous. Okay. Whew. All right. Success. All right. And then because we've got musical notes on the front, um, let's put um not we won't put musical notes on the inside. We'll put a little little confetti. Oh, look, I have some tear and tape left over from our afternoon party this afternoon. So I'm just going to add a little confetti. Oh, that was kind of blobby. A little confetti in there. And not the best stamping, Susan. Oh, well. All right. So we've got our, our card started here. We're going to add this piece on the inside. And then we're going to decorate the front with a little bit of fun. So I'm going to pop this in. All right, there we go. And then let's decorate the front. So I need a piece of lemon lime twist. And I'm going to grab the happy birthday to you stamp set, uh, stamp, not stamp set, stamp from the Zany Zoo. And I'm going to stamp it on here. And we're going to die cut this. All right. So I've got my happy birthday to you. And let's bring in, you know what? I've got the little mini machine right here. Everybody slide to the right, please. <laughs> it takes up so much less desk than the big one, right? So we've got our mini machine at hand. We put the number one plate in here the number two plate, and then my piece. And where's my dies? Let's grab our dies here. This curtain is really fun. I haven't had a chance to play with that, but the curtain, and then there's the tie backs for the curtain. So we're going to grab this banner right here, and we're going to die cut our happy birthday to you. Put it right in the center there. How about that? Now, I don't want this to shift, so I'm going to put a post-it note down. Keep it, keep it contained. Oh, I got, I got two post-its. There we go. I only need one. I only need one. All right. Now, the joy of die cutting is it doesn't matter if you stamp it crooked because you can fix it. <laughs> I just die cutting it crooked, right? So I have better success with the mini machine if I pull it back about a half an inch, that center plate. And then I have the bottom and top plate lined up at the top. Just um, allows the, the, the roller inside to grab it a little bit easier. Depends how tight your machine is. So you may not have that issue at all. I just err on the side of caution and do that every time. All right. Put our little guy up there. And there we have our little banner. I love this banner die. You can tell this is going to be a favorite. And there's lots of fun dies in here. The cute little balloon, the flowers. There's two balloons, the, the cloud, pine tree, um, some little flowers, and a little vase for the little flowers. Super fun. Super, super fun. And then, of course, the different animals from the paper that you can die cut out. All right, but we're just going to use the banner for this card because we're going to cheat and use just the paper. <laughs> Not really cheating, is it? No, heck no. All right, so we've got our, um, our fun critters here. We've got our banner, and we're going to mount our banner on a piece of basic black just to let it pop out a little bit more. That layer piece is one and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And I'm going to pop this on with, let's see, dimensionals. So I think I'll pop up just the banner itself. And then I'll stick the layer directly to the card. And we're going to add a little bit of ribbon on this one. I've just got it layered so I can just have that little bit of black border around that's going to pop out. And we can put this wherever we want. Um, 
I don't want to cover up the turtle. Oh, shoot. I was going to stamp some musical notes on my banner. Well, I'm not going to because I forgot. So we can put it. That's kind of cute right there, isn't it? Um, so we, we could slide it down if you want to be able to see the bear. Um, you know, it sort of depends on your paper. I think I am going to cover up the bear and just put it right there. And so it's close to the turtle. Mm, I don't think I can stamp musical notes on this when it's um, up on dimensional. So uh, there's lots of musical notes in the paper. So I'm just going to go with that. So I'm going to take a bit of this ribbon. This is the lemon lime twist. And I'm going to wrap it around the inside of the card here. And let's give myself lots of tails. Cutting way too much, but ah, not cutting anything. Oh, those are goopy scissors. Those are not my ribbon cutting scissors. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's see. I I think I might want the knot down here at the bottom because the banner is going to be at the top and then they'll kind of offset each other. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. So I'm using my finger to hold the first part of the knot and then this is the double knot. Okay, there we go. And then of course we're going to trim those ends but I'm gonna get a bit of a pair of scissors because <laughs> those were yuck. All right. Those were good for cutting dimensionals and paper and such. Oh my goodness, I just moved the whole camera. Sorry guys. I was trying to put my scissors back and cut the cord. All right, so there we have our ribbon on the side and we've got our little banner here. I'm thinking we're going to put that, we could put it down here. I'm just playing around. Could actually put it down in the corner, couldn't I? And you could see the bear. I could cover up the warthog because <laughs> he's on the inside. And then I'd slide my night knot back up towards the top. Hmm. <gasps> decisions, decisions. I am going to add a little bit of bling on this as well. I think I'm going to do just rhinestones on this one. Uh, let me grab some out of my drawer. Here we go. Good old basic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Good old basic rhinestones would work, but I also could do um, these new pearls. So these are the in color pearls. Um, they're, they're the in colors from last year that are staying another year. So we've got Parakeet Party. Um, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, uh, Starry Sky, and Orchid uh, Opulent. No, Orchid Oasis. Um, now, this isn't Parakeet. It, it's Lemon Lime Twist, but they are very similar colors, so they would easily work on there. Let's let's try it and see what we think. Kind of fun to color match, isn't it? Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. The other option is if you don't have anything that matches Lemon Lime Twist, you could, um, if you have the lemon lime twist blends or even granny apple green blends, you could color your own embellishments um, to match with the, the rhinestones. It's one of the beauties about the blends. They allow you to custom color things. So I've got my little happy birthday banner. I still don't know where it's going. Um, <laughs> just, I'm just playing, sorry. Might be overthinking things. All right, here's what it looks like right here. And here's what it looks like down here. Let me know in the comments if you were making this card, if you would put it up or down. And it probably depends on which animal you think is cuter. Um, I'm going to put it up here. Why not? I'm just going to make a decision. going to go for it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pop it right up here at the top. Sorry, Mr. Bear, but you appear again on the inside, so not too worried. All right, so we've got our card here. I'm going to slide this down just a skosh, and I'm going to trim off the ribbon a little bit more. Let's hope I don't catch the camera again. <laughs> maybe, I'll just, maybe I'll just leave the scissors out this time. All right, 
because we all know how well it works for me when I don't put things away, right? <laughs> all right, so there we have our, our ribbon. So happy birthday to you. And then on the inside of the card, it goes across and then you're too wonderful. Now, if you um, if the ribbon is covering up anything important, you can absolutely slide it over. And it's going to be on the outside more. Or you can slide it the other way on the inside. Totally up to you. Um, you know, you have options there. I'm actually going to leave it kind of covering up his nose and the warthog's nose because I like it kind of right in the middle over here. So, so there we have our easy peasy card with the zany zoo. That's a three panel scenery card. I've got another one that I made with the zany zoo before the, the video started. This one is with another pattern from the paper. I just love that hippo in the tutu. <laughs> this one, um, you can cut out the cat with the dies. But again, I just made the three panel scenery card. So I put my banner where there was just a partial animal. And so I chose to cover that up. And then you can see the scene across the inside here. And then the happy birthday to you. So there are two versions. And let me know in the comments. Um, you probably already did. But if you haven't voted yet, let me know which of these other two I should do. The raccoon with the balloons or the crocodile on the bike. And then I'm going to put the cards here. And then I'm going to put up the um, dimensions for you so that you can take a screenshot there on our dimensions. Let me just slide those down. And again, I will be sending out a project sheet on this one. Okay, you're too bouncy. I'm gonna hold it down. Okay, now take, <laughs> you're too bouncy too. There we go. Now take a screenshot. Um, I will be sending out a project sheet with this one. So you can go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, and I'll also do a project sheet for this one, which is with the timeless arrangements. So. There we have our three panel scenery cards. So fun. Now it is getting close to grad season. So in the today's crafternoon, I also did this fun card with the beautiful balloons um, bundle. And I made a mortarboard, uh, a grad cap. The tassel is actually right out of the dies from the beautiful balloons. And this is the gold celebration specialty paper. It's actually an acetate with the printed dots on it. So fun. Um, and so the mortarboard I actually cut from cardstock. This will be part of the written tutorial for the double decker. This is a double decker card, the double decker pop out card tutorial. And that will be coming soon. Uh, this is Saturday evening, uh, May 13th. And I will have that tutorial up for you. Oh, I should take this down. <laughs> I will have that tutorial up for you. Um, tomorrow, May 14th, by midnight. That's what I'm going for. So um, if you want to be notified when that first goes out, you can also subscribe to my blog posts because that is when, uh, when it goes live, there'll be a blog post that you can um, get the information on purchasing the tutorial if you want to do that. People who placed an order, qualifying order last month, here it is right here. <laughs> Um, as you are going to get that tutorial for free uh, in an email and also my team members. So thank you everyone for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you have a great evening and I look forward to seeing you on our next video adventure, which will be this coming Tuesday. Um, what date would that be? Mm, 16th, May 16th at 730 Central Time. Take care and have a great night. Bye-bye.